Sporting Dog Adventures Run, that boy, was run awesome. Everything you Good need boy. is here. here under the sun Everything you need is here under the sun Hey, welcome to Sporting Dog Adventures, presented by Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks, and Tourism. We're going to give you a training tip today on getting your dog involved in following a gun or marking off a gun barrel. I've got Sean Wozniak from Mech Outdoors. Sean, you're going to help us make something called a popper that is used in dog training, and that is where it's just a primer in an empty shell, and it's something that is used widely in HRC hunt tests. Correct. It's very simple. I mean, you just described it. It's a shell with a primer. Uh, we can just take an empty shell, kick out the old primer, put a new primer in, just crimp it, and you're ready to go back and use it. Let's go ahead and make a few because okay. this is a great, easy process and cost-effective, like you said, when you're going to train your dog. It really is. I mean, you can it, reduce, redu reuse, and recycle. I mean, you're using the same shell. All you're doing is kicking out the old primer, put the new one in, and go back to training. So let's go ahead and kick, get into this. We'll take our one shell, kick out the old primer. I already have a new primer sitting in here. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and reprime. Since this, this is just a popper load, we're not gonna put any powder or any shot or any other fillers in there. So all we're gonna do is just crimp it. So we go ahead and put a little taper on it. And the reason why we do this so it goes back into the gun chamber. We want to make sure it's the correct length. So when you go to put a chamber it and you go ahead and fire, fire the round, that it's going to be able to eject, but also open too. And I've actually seen it done that way where you crimp it. I've seen it done where it's basically clipped off and it's just this much of the shell and there's there, none of the top is left too. Um, I think there's some places probably sell shells like that when people are doing this type of training, but this is something that you can do that's cost effective where you can just use your old old shells. This is just one form. I mean, you touched on it. A lot of guys will cut that off, so you don't have to crimp it. It's already two chamber length, so all that they would do is deprime and then reprime, and then they're back up and running. Sporting Dog Adventures is presented by the Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks, and Tourism, Boucher Automotive, Fleet Farm, Heavy Shot, Mac Outdoors, Rite Inertia Driven Shotguns, and Soggy Acres Retrievers. Hey, welcome to Season 9 of Sporting Dog Adventures. Please like our videos, share them, and spread the word to all your friends. So the way we're going to use this is we're going to take Pappy out. I'm going to sit on a small chair with him. I'm going to have my firearm with me and I am going to have Sean throw bumpers. So it's just going to be a marking type of an atmosphere for the dog, but we're going to have it where I've got Pappy at heel and I'm exaggerating where I'm at and I'm having him follow the gun barrel. He's an older dog. That's why we're going to use him for this because he is actually, you'll see him shift his weight and follow the swing of the gun. And I will fire the popper. It'll make a noise. That will necessitate Sean to throw the bumper, and then Pappy will pick it up. Mark. Pappy. Good boy, here. Good boy. Good boy. Drop. This is a great thing that you can do with young dogs or old dogs, whether you're training or just getting ready for the season. It really is, and you know, there's cost savings. I mean, if you can go and buy this factory or back, basically from the manufacturer, it's gonna cost you more. Or you can have your empty shells, go ahead and get some primers, kick out the old, put the new in, and you're back in action. Sean, thanks so much for helping us show our fans how to make a cost-effective training popper for their dogs. Thanks for having me on today. That's this week's training tip. Hope to see you next week. Nothing beats a good pheasant hunt with my sons. We're headed to Kansas this winter. The state has some of the world's best populations of upland game, making it one of America's top bird hunting destinations. Kansas provides mixed bag opportunities and 1.5 million acres of public hunting lands. All that makes Kansas an ideal destination. The season runs from the second weekend in November to the end of January. 
Go to ksoutdoors.com and plan your trip today.